Joe Stedman. I'm going to be talking about Case Yellow 1940 by Ted Racier, uh, GMT Games. This is a newer game that just came out. It's a very traditional um, hex war game about the German invasion of the West 1940, where they went in through Holland and Bel you know into France. It's Ted Racier. He's famous for Paths of Glory. It's a uh, good quality production game. I'm going to show you all the different pieces that came in it and uh, give you my thoughts on it after that. So let's zoom in and I'll show you what's in the game. All right, so what comes in the box? So we got, uh, let's go to the rules first. You got the rules, uh, good quality color production. Uh, how many pages are there? 23 pages of basic rules with introduction and examples of play and full color pictures. Uh, laid out in traditional war game way with the sub points and the numbers and all that. Then you've got the playbook, which has got the, there's four scenarios in the game. Uh, the fourth scenario is this one here, which is the learning scenario, which comes with a little card, and you actually use this, this card map, which is kind of neat. So you got the two rule books. you got player aids. you got two main player aids. These are card co uh, cardboard. Your terrain effects, your combat res, you know, CRT, like most war games, you've got the odds table, uh, airborne landings, just all the things. And like I said, um, I think I said before, this is a Ted game, Ted Racer game, so there's lots of little fiddly things that you're going to have to try to remember as you're playing. Um, so you got those, a couple dice, let me zoom in on these counters here, honey. So it's just your traditional cardboard counters, these are the activation counters, these are going to be in a cup. Some of them will say move action. This is a German move action. Here's a uh, here's another move action. Some of them are you know, uh, double sided. So this is a combat action. So you can use it for either. So on your turn, you're going to draw the cup, and we'll see whose turn it is. You're a German or allied, and you get to either move a unit or activate a unit, or move a unit or use combat. Then you got your 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 basic traditional war game pieces, and uh, you can zoom in on that. You know, you've got your your movement and your combat and things like that. So very basic counters. All right, um, then you got the map. First of all, notice double-sided. Whoa, I, you very rarely see a double-sided map, which is really cool. And it's just a good quality GMT map, paper map. Put a piece of plexiglass on top of it, and it's got on it, it's got the different uh, ways to keep track of things. X's, um, nothing too fancy here, but I like how it's got a map key on it and the turn track. and. Uh, victory point track and tables for surrender tables and this everything you need good quality map so I think I think that's it for components all right so there you go case yellow it's uh, it's a good quality design it's just long uh, for what you get it's kind of like sitting down uh, to a big long Thanksgiving dinner you've waited all day to eat and you sit down and mom brings out a pizza you know, eh. so, but it's a good game. It's just, it's, you know, you, if, if you've not played this before, I think even for the simple scenario, it's going to take you eight, nine hours to play it. So, but if you like uh, the beginning of the war, that Blitzkrieg stuff, lots of movement, um, traditional scenario, uh, hex game with zones of controls and all that, and you're trying to outmaneuver each other, yeah, you'll like the game. I like the opaque cups where you draw out the activation chits. You know, you may be set up for a move and you draw a combat or vice versa. It gets very frustrating. Um, and Ted, Ted designed some great games with Paths of Glory. So, I mean, I guess we'll see how it turns out. Um, I just don't think, for me personally, I'm not going to play it a whole lot just because I don't have this much time to play this level of a game. Um, but you never know. Maybe, maybe it'll grow on me with time. So, with the quality of the game, everything else, i got nothing to complain about. So, there you go. That's Case Yellow by GMT. <laughs> See you next time. You know, I'm not going to tell you what Monica's doing behind the camera. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching Aww. The Dice Tower.